Hello everyone, I'm Anthony Soros for NewJerseyHotShots.com and we're wrapping up high school football in the state of New Jersey for the 2010 season. First, we're going to go to North Jersey Section 1, Group 3. And the motto for high school football this season was Chris Olson's quote, Who would be the sickest if they lost? Let's go to the Meadowlands. First quarter, the Patriots are going to make a statement early. Brian Dowling, the two-way standout. He picks off Devin Fuller and the Pats have the first turnover of the game. The Patriots mount up a good drive in the opening period, but it's sophomore quarterback Kevin Olsen dropping back to pass. He's picked off by Adam Basovich in the end zone. The pass are turned away. Second quarter action. Hills will get on the ball early. Brian Dowling is going to take the handoff. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. Wayne Hills draws first blood. The extra point is good. Patriots 7, Golden Knights 0. The Knights take possession deep in their own territory. Devin Fuller loses the handle. Hills recovers. That's two turnovers for Old Japan. The Patriots waste no time. Brian Dowling again from five yards out. It's 14 to nothing. You don't want to be trailing Wayne Hills in a title game by two touchdowns. Hills makes a crucial mistake. They let Devin Fuller get the Knights back into the game before the half. You just can't give Fuller time to make something happen because he will. The late bomb to Jeff Pinelli. Pinelli brought down at the 10. Devin Fuller, this guy is just unbelievable. One of the best quarterback scramblers in the state. He's going to waltz into the end zone right past Eugene Lowe. 14 to 7, Wayne Hills. Hills is going to have 43 seconds to go before the half. Olsen going for broke. He's going deep down the sidelines. Troy Zafino has been brought, brought down to the eight yard line. Remember that name, Troy Zafino. Hills runs the clock down to two seconds. Anthony Jordan comes on to attempt a field goal. Hills will go up by 10 at the half, 17 7. Third quarter was quiet. Let's go to the fourth. Fuller with the give to beat Keith Rahman. He's going to get a key first down. Then another crucial situation. Fuller back to pass. Drew Martinez with the one-hand grab. The drive is alive. Fuller with the pitch to Rodman again. He takes it to the end zone. The Golden Knights cut it to three. 17-14 and eight minutes to go in the game. Hills is going to take possession. Olsen's going to find Brian Dowling. Dowling is going to be short on the first down. The Pats are going to have to punt. Devin Fuller has one last shot to take the Knights 90 yards. The Hills defense giving Fuller too much time. He's going to find Martinez in the middle for a 38-yard gain. Coming to the left side on the pitch is Jeff Pinelli. He's brought down out of bounds at the 12-yard line. If you're from Wayne Hills, you just can't bear this second year in a row. 58 seconds. Fuller over the middle of Drew Martinez, touchdown! Chris Olsen can't believe it, another heartbreaker, second year in a row. Otopan is gonna be the North Jersey Section 1 Group 3 champs. The extra point is good, 21-17, Otopan. Wait, there is 23 seconds left on the clock. The ensuing kickoff, our cameraman was getting the Ulta pin celebration. Brian Dowling pitched wow. the ball to Luis He was gone. Miracle of the Meadowlands 2. Wayne Hills wins it 24-21. Wayne Hills wins the Ed North Jersey Section 1 Group 3 title for the seventh time in the last nine seasons. Chris Olsen said it best himself. He was completely dizzy. If you were at this game, you just didn't believe what you saw tonight. You know, you're winning, you're losing, you win the game. It, you know, I don't know if I've ever been in a game, you know, where your emotions were up and down so much like that. But, you know, Brian Dowling and Troy Zafino, and I'll say it again, if there's a better all-around football player around than Brian Dowling, you all got to show him to me. Well, that certainly has to make up for Wayne Hill's loss one year ago to Ramapo in the snow, 16-8. to Wayne Hills has played in a state title game 13 times out of the last 14 years, and they've won the state title seven times out of the last nine years. What else can you say about the Wayne Hills Patriots, but will they be there in 2011? I'm Anthony Source for NewJerseyHotShots.com.